here are a list of potential article titles for a subscription box business. And what would be the fastest way to turn all of these article titles into articles for my website? Well, we have a new setting for the auto blogging task within your AIagent.com. And I'm going to scroll down here. Instead of entering a list of keywords and having our agent write articles around those keywords, you can now write titles and our AI agent will write the content below what you have chosen as a title. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. If you're completely new to your AI agent.com, we integrate with multiple platforms. So depending on where your website is hosted, you will need to follow the steps for that integration. We have blogger, medium.com, Shopify, Webflow, wordpress.com, and wordpress.org. These are all places that you would generate articles to. And we also integrate with a bunch of different APIs, OpenAI, Gemini, Claude, Stable Diffusion 3, and you can even add an assistant from your OpenAI developer platform. If you're curious in how to integrate your own website with your AIagent.com, I've dropped a bunch of videos in the description below. Find your integration and watch that setup. But within the website, you can also click on these buttons to watch a video. Here are a bunch for the APIs. And on whatever your connection, let's say Webflow, you can click to watch a video here as well. Okay, on the home page, you need to select your AI task. The newest feature, auto marketing, we're super excited about this one. Go ahead and watch the previous video if you want to set up that type of workflow. It automatically generates content for your website each day and it does the keyword research for you. So you don't have to touch a thing. But let's say you've done a bunch of research, you've crafted the perfect article titles, and now you want to upload them in bulk and have an AI agent write a bunch of articles for them. Well, for that, we're going to select auto blogging. And there are a few settings that we need to configure. First, select your website connection from the drop down menu. Let's say I want to generate to Webflow. Do I want the articles to be published or a draft? Let's keep them on draft for now. So I'm going to uncheck this toggle. Then we'll choose our text model. For this, I'm going to select GPT-4 Turbo. For the image model, I'm going to use Stable Diffusion 3. Our language is going to be English. I want these to post every 24 hours. And at the bottom of the article, I want to link back to youraiagent.com. And my hyperlink text is going to be top tier AI agents. Next, we need to fill in a text prompt and an image prompt. Think of these like the system prompt for your generations. What extra information do you want your models to know? By default, I have it talking about HTML format. I can remove this because we also stress this in the back end code. I'm going to write my business is called Comic Box and it creates subscription boxes with retro comic books. So I'm giving my agent a little background and hopefully when it writes the articles, it includes my business name and it kind of understands why we are crafting the article and for which type of reader we're generating for. Next, for the image prompt, I like the idea of no words, illustration only. I think it's only fitting that we say comic book style for the image because this is a comic book subscription business. And then in our keyword list, instead of keywords, we are going to select titles. So now this changes to titles list. And I can now go to wherever I have stored the article titles, start grabbing them and pasting them here. So I did my research all within ChatGPT. And after I've asked it to generate 20 article titles, I can start going through and grab them one by one. So I like this second one. So I'm going to copy this, go back into my auto blogging task, paste this in, hit enter. That is my first title. I'm going to scroll down. What else do we got here? Ooh, I like number 13. So I'm going to copy this one, go back, paste it in, hit enter. There we have two titles. Let's scroll through. Let's grab another one. Okay. Let's talk about the eco-friendly side of comic book subscriptions. 
very curious of what it's going to come up with for that one. Let's hit enter. If I wanted to add a bunch of them at one time, I would need to separate them by a comma. Here I've asked ChatGPT to separate these titles by a comma for me. So I'm going to copy this, paste them all in, and there we go. We have a bunch of titles to write articles for. Now I can click generate posts. It takes me to the workflows page. I see this newest workflow. It has eight titles. We are connecting to my Webflow website. It's an auto blogger task. The interval is every 24 hours. I can click the info button to edit the workflow at any time. Let's say I wanted to change my text prompt or the image prompt. I could do that here. Scrolling down, I can see when my next article will be published. That date is tomorrow at 8.48 p.m. And the current title we're going to write in article four. And that appears to be the second title in my titles list. Down here is also error logs. If anything is happening with your workflow, it's not posting correctly. The text is coming out funny. The image isn't working. You will see what's going on down here. If the error logs is confusing to you, I'm always here for customer support. Just take a screenshot of this or copy the text and send it over to my email address, which you can find in settings and then clicking support. Okay, let's hop over to my Webflow website to see the result. Okay, the newest article is up here. It's in draft stage for publish. I'm going to click on it. Here is the article. It has the exact article title that I inputted into the auto blogging task. You can see the slug has auto generated to that title as well. Then we have an article written in HTML format. And what's amazing is look at it, it's writing comic box, my business name within the article text. It followed exactly what I wanted it to do within the custom prompt. And if I take a look at the featured image, it's a bunch of people holding comic books in what looks like a subscription box, comic book illustration style. I absolutely love this article. It also wrote a brief post summary that will help with SEO. If you want to generate hundreds of articles around your perfectly crafted titles, I recommend giving youraiagent.com a shot. I'll drop a link in the description below. If you want to learn how to build AI agents or custom AI apps for yourself, I built and designed an online course around that topic. There will be a link to that in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. A later.